Hi guys, it's MLC here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time I am building a base game only family house. And I hope you guys will like it. I think this house turns out to be really cute. I wanted to go for something that was more like a traditional, maybe somewhere between a suburban and a farmhouse. Um, I don't know which one it's closer to, but that was my idea, but I wanted it to look a little bit updated. So I decided to use some windows that looked a little bit more, maybe modern and maybe like some updated paint, those types of things. And yeah, I think it ends up being a really cute house. I forget exactly how many bedrooms it is. I believe it's three. I actually built this a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to share this build while I was away because in case you guys didn't know, I've been gone for about 10 days or so, maybe a couple days longer than that because um, I did go away for my dating anniversary. So my husband and I just celebrated 10 years being together. This summer we'll be married for five years, but we still celebrate our dating anniversary because I don't know. I, is that something people normally do? I like celebrating it anyway. So we decided to go to New Zealand and yeah, we decided to just kind of travel around the country. We spent a few days traveling around the North Island and then we have some friends that live in the Southern Island. So we went and stayed with them and of course traveled around there as well. It ended up not being as long as we wanted to go um, just because of my husband's work schedule and stuff like that. So there was a lot of stuff we missed and we're gonna have to go back eventually and yeah it was really nice seeing the people that I know I've known them since I was a kid and I've never been to New Zealand to visit them so they were really happy about that and yeah it was a really enjoyable vacation I'm definitely happy to be back though I definitely missed recording I feel like I've said definitely like five times in the last three sentences so sorry if I'm being a bit repetitive but of course since I haven't done a voiceover in a while it's not gonna be the most perfect thing and I don't think it ever is so um, bear with me hopefully I'm not too obnoxious but here you can see the house is coming together I think it's a super cute home I am building with seasons on so even though this is a base game only house you will see that the plants are a little bit fall colored and that's just because I was feeling in I guess sort of a fall mood when I built this and I wanted the landscaping to be colorful and I think it's just so pretty so even if you don't have seasons you know, it's not going to affect the build at all because it is absolutely a base game only house. I may have used something from the free holiday pack. Normally when I do base game only builds, I do turn that on in my filters, but I'm not sure if I used anything from there. So if you don't have that pack, it shouldn't be too big of a deal because it should all just be base game stuff. Maybe a candle from that pack. I think that's usually the only thing that I use if I do use the holiday items. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it has been a while since I built this, so my memory isn't the best, but I think this house is really pretty and I was happy to include a garage in there. I believe I put like a treadmill, uh, some random kind of garage-like stuff, <laughs> and I think the woodworking table's in there too. And I also put a car in the driveway. I went into the live edit objects to get the car. I believe a lot of the plants are from the live edit objects. Actually, maybe I didn't really use that too much for this build. I think I decided not to. And I also really liked the driveway too. I like how it connects to the front porch and then also connects to the garage too. And the garage is detached, which you guys can probably see. And I thought that was really nice because that's not something I typically do. I mean, I don't add a whole lot of garages in my builds, but um, I don't think I really ever do them detached. So yeah, it was kind of a nice change. And you may notice that I did kind of this trick with the garage door. I am forgetting who I saw that from. I should actually pull up YouTube and see the tutorial so I can tell you guys where I got that idea from because it's definitely not my own. I am not that creative. I believe it was from the channel. Oh, I'm going to completely butcher this name. They're Schnuck. I'll, I'll put the name up on screen. I am so sorry if I'm not saying your YouTube channel name correctly, but you guys should definitely check them out. They have a ton of tutorials. They do really beautiful builds, lots of stop motion in combination with speed builds, and they're just really, really creative. And one of my favorite channels that I've discovered only pretty recently. And yeah, I'm really happy to have found them. So definitely 
um, check out their stuff because the tutorials are very useful. <laughs> I'm like completely blown away with the creativity. Um, but either way, here you can see I am just adding some decorations from the live edit objects. I have a little like um, garden there between the trees on the side. I was pretty excited actually to use this lot. This is the one where I believe it's the BFF household, is that their name? Um, but either way, it's here in Willow Creek in this more starter neighborhood. I decided to use this lot and I really liked it because there's so much like yard space, even though it's more wide than it is deep. Usually I find those types of lots kind of difficult, but I don't know, the house ended up being really big and I still had outdoor space and I still had like side yards. So I was able to put like extra trees and then that garden area, I believe I put some monkey bars over by the garden area too. And then they have a swimming pool here in the back and I decided to go with a more interesting quote unquote rounded appearance <laughs> to the swimming pool. Um, I've been doing that a bit lately and I just really like it. I'm hoping that we get rounded swimming pools eventually because I'm feeling a bit bored with swimming pools. I mean, it's not perfect because of course it has the, the corners, but either way, I think it looks nice. And there's a couple of lounge chairs and you probably noticed the hot tub. So before I went away, we had the celebration of the Sims 4, or not the Sims 4, but the Sims franchise 20th anniversary and we got a new hot tub. Um, the hot tub is base game, of course. That's why I'm using it in this build and I like it. It's okay. Um, I think the swatches are all right. It's nice to have a hot tub in base game. And that's not honestly something I thought we would get. I thought they would leave hot tubs to perfect patio, but now we have one in base game. So that's always really nice because base game is pretty limited as you will probably notice once we get onto the interior that's the biggest struggle I think when doing uh, base game only builds is the interior, at least for me anyways. But yeah, the hot tub is the gift that we got to celebrate. And honestly, I was pretty disappointed in the celebration. I thought that it would be a bit more of a celebration for 20 years. I feel like it's a huge anniversary. I mean, not that I necessarily expected to get a ton of free stuff, but I just kind of expected a little bit more for a celebration. So I don't know. I don't want to be too complainy because it is definitely nice to get something extra for base game. And I, I just don't know. I just, it felt like kind of a, a just a meh <laughs> anniversary. I don't know. Um, but either way, it's nice and yeah base game always needs more stuff. But either way, here you can see I am working on the floor plan, but um, I do want to mention my save file because right before I left for vacation, I did release the first version of my save. There will be many more updates to come because I'm definitely not finished. It's been a work in progress for a long time now, about like two and a half years probably I've been working on it. So it's a huge project and of course every time we get a new expansion or at least most expansions and some game packs we get a new world and the game just gets bigger and bigger and I'm not that quick of a builder and so it's taking me a really long time but I felt like I was at a good place to share it and yeah I just want to say thank you guys for all of your feedback I've been getting lots of messages on both my Dropbox account where I released it and then also on my Tumblr. I've been getting messages on Snapchat and you guys have, or not Snapchat. I don't have a Snapchat for my YouTube on my Instagram. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages on there and you guys have been sharing stories of you guys using my uh, save file too. And I just wanted to say thank you. I've really enjoyed you guys or seeing you guys enjoy it. And also some people were streaming it on their Twitch account. So if you guys are going to do that too, please let me know. Please um, send me a message with the link. I would love to watch you guys tour it or playing it if you guys have a let's play or if you just want to send me pictures, you can do that on Instagram or Twitter or I don't know where else <laughs> would be a good spot to share things with me. But um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it and I'm excited to do more builds for it, create more Sims for it and do future updates. I'm not sure when the next update will be. I'll probably wait till I have a pretty good number of builds done because I don't want to do like too many updates where, you know, they're, they're, I just want it to be like worth an update. I don't want there to be like one or two builds. I want it to be like maybe 10 builds. Is that too many? Maybe that's too many. I don't know. I really don't have 
that many more to go. I should probably go through and count it so I have an idea in my head of actually how much I have left, but um, either way, it's been a really fun project. I'm happy to have shared an early version of it, and yeah, I look forward to seeing how it progresses in the future, but either way, here you can see I'm decorating the interior of this house, and yeah, I wanted to go for something that looked a little bit more updated. So even though I went with more traditional counters and a few more traditional items, I wanted to use a few more more newer, contemporary slash modern looking elements to the build. And I think it actually looks really nice. And I especially really like the kitchen. I was happy to have had that tile that we got in an update at some point. I forget exactly when that was, but... Yeah, I think it looks really nice in there. Here you can see I am struggling with the living room. It ended, up, it ended up being like a really awkward shape and so I messed with it for a really long time. I'm not sure if I left all of this in because I remember struggling with this forever and I edited the footage before I went on vacation. So yeah, I think I left everything in though. It wasn't like a super long build that took me, you know, five hours or something. I think it probably took three maybe, which is, pretty quick I would say um, but this is I believe the final layout for the living room and I end up putting I think a chess table behind the couch just to kind of fill in this awkward space one thing I think I really struggled with the most was artwork with base game oh I did move it <laughs> I thought I left it behind the couch but I just moved it over here behind uh, or along that wall and I think that looks really nice but yeah artwork is something that is definitely a struggle with base game you can go on the gallery though and take paintings that people have done and there's tons of different things on there some people will put actual like custom content in their game and then paint it and that like adds a whole lot of variety to base game builds so yeah if you're building something like this and you want more variety I would definitely check the gallery or even if you only have the base game I would definitely check the gallery for more artwork um, but here is like a little playroom I thought this was a really nice addition to the build um, if you wanted another bedroom this would probably make a really nice bedroom too but I just thought a playroom would be so cute and I was kind of wanting to think along the lines of like homeschooling and so I put those two desks over there um, I didn't really put anything else in there that maybe would feel like homeschooling but either way it's just a nice activity room for some kids to play so I thought that was super cute and then here is the home office and I was thinking that maybe one of the parents is a fashion designer so I put that um, inspiration board that we got with the freelancer career and yeah it's just a nice home office the interior of this build is pretty bland so hopefully you guys don't mind that I use so much white and gray but it just made it feel more like I don't know just updated to me and so that's the look I was going for over there I did use a couple of side tables and I stacked them on top of each other to maybe look like taller storage and then I put some towels around I've wanted it to look more like fabric <laughs> for designing clothes and I did almost for a second use a mannequin from get to work and put like some clothes on it and I wanted it to feel like whoever lives in this house had designed that outfit but I didn't do that because I wanted to stick to base game only but if you do have get to work I would I would say put a mannequin in there design an outfit and create a sim and put it on the mannequin and then you could pretend that your sim designed that outfit because I think that's a really cute idea um, but either way we've moved on to the second floor and here is the master bedroom it was a bit of an awkward shape but I think I I think I made it work I don't know it's it's not my best master bedroom because I felt like the shape was so weird and it's a bit crowded over here by the bed but you know what I I like it I'm not gonna naysay my bedroom I think it looks really nice and I also like the walk-in closet and yeah it's a pretty cute bedroom and they do have an ensuite bathroom that is right here I do end up copying over this bathroom onto the shared bathroom between the kids bedrooms I don't know it just it was the exact same size and I didn't feel like doing the exact same like thing over again because <laughs> so I think even the doors were in the same place so yeah that actually worked out really nicely and then here is going to be a little kids bedroom or a toddler's bedroom actually because there I just put the toddler potty in the bathroom and yeah it's a pretty small bedroom but I think for a toddler's room it actually works out really nicely and even if you use a twin size bed I think it'll work pretty well too and then over here I did merge an ottoman into this dresser to look like a changing table 
I'm really hoping that we get another family related pack and we get like changing tables and more bassinets and like strollers and updated babies and all of that kind of stuff. I'm very excited to see what's going to be coming in this year because we are in 2020 now we have been for a while but we did get the tiny living stuff pack and that was completely out of the blue for me i didn't expect a pack like that and so i'm excited to see what else is going to be coming because really like we have a, a version of pets we have cats and dogs we don't have any other pets hopefully we get some more in the future too i would really like that but we already have university and we have I feel like most things like, you know, like seasons and things that people expect. So I'm excited to see what else is going to be coming. But either way, here I'm just finishing up the upstairs. I had this extra room over here and I really wasn't sure what to do with it. So I decided to make another home office. But if you need another bedroom, this might work as a bedroom. I don't know. It's I think it would be a really awkwardly shaped bedroom though. So I think it works best as an office. And of course the office downstairs too could be another bedroom. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for a family in this house to expand or to have more Sims in it if you would like to. But over here I'm decorating the garage. So I have the treadmill, I have the woodworking table, the punching bag. I stack up some little planters and I also sized up that uh, garden hose. <laughs> I almost called it a garden rope. No, it's definitely a garden hose. Um, just because it, it feels a bit puny. Um, but either way, that's the garage. Very simple, nothing too exciting. And then on the balconies and porches, I don't really add too many things, just like a few seating areas, a chess table, and a few like plants and things. Of course, outdoor lighting. And yeah, this is it for the build. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoy the screenshot. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Turn the tide Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stone Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone Take a breath Let me be a part of some